The next shape I think I'm going to do is the carrot. Nice big carrot there. Now the carrot uh, is clearly orange, and it's almost an orange that's right out of the tube, but it's not quite. This, uh, this orange is not as pure. The orange of the carrot is not as pure as the orange I have here. So when we're mixing a color, we look for the, the basic color, whatever that is, and this is orange in this case. Now we also look for the value. I've added a little white to this. And then we also add to the purity of the color. And uh, this is not a pure color, so we want to add some of its complement to it. And then we want just a, just a breath of blue. I mean, uh, just a little bit. Just to knock that color down and make it look more natural. That's about right. Now, my stroke uh, is going to be a triangular stroke. Most of my strokes so far have just been uh, parallel, but now I have to make a triangle out of this, so watch how my brush goes. Starts out here, I turn the brush as I'm going, and I make a triangle out of it. Can you see that? This is how I want to make this whole carrot, with those kinds of strokes, because I'm making a cone, and I'm interested in doing triangles. Now I've got my color here. I've added a little white to it to make the highlight color. I'm going to do the same shape, same kind of stroke. Watch the brush turn. In order to create that triangle. Now, also, I go back to my middle value, and I want to make the shadow color of this carrot. And the shadow color has more blue in it. So I take some blue and add it to this orange, and there's my shadow right there, just like that. Same shape, same shape brush stroke. Another triangle. Now we have some strokes sort of following the contour of this carrot, and so I'm going to hint at those at this point with a stroke like this. So we have our highlight, our middle value, and our shadow color on here. Now in the same way on convex objects, the lightest light is not on, the darkest dark is not on the edge. The lightest light is not on the edge either. So I'm taking a little piece of that shadow and running along the, the lighter side of the carrot, and this will help create more three dimensions.